Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? Hope you all are well. Welcome to today's math class. Today we will learn a new topic. This is subtraction two digit. Yes. But what is our new topic? Subtraction two digit with borrowing. Subtraction two digit with borrowing okay already we learn subtraction two digit today we will learn with borrowing and do you know what is our subtraction sign can anyone say to me how we will show it like this a straight line yes this is our subtraction sign here, here is our subtraction sign and we call it minus a small straight line which one is called minus and it's our subtraction sign. So today we will learn subtraction two digit with borrowing and this is our sign minus. We already learned subtraction with two digit. Now we will learn subtraction two digit with borrowing. We will follow the similar rules but a small new twist. At first remember how we will do our subtraction two digit. Remember Yes, according to our place value. At first, we have to subtract our ones number, then our tens number. We have to subtract 52 minus 37. Here is minus, so it's subtraction, obviously. Now, we have to first subtract our ones number. Means, our right side number. Our one side number is 2 and 7. We have to subtract 2 minus 7. But is this possible? 2 is a small number and 7 is bigger than 2. So how we will subtract 2 minus 7? No kids, it's not possible. That's why before 2, we will add a 1 like this. Before 2, we will add a 1. So, it make 2, 12. Now, it's a big number. 12 minus 7. Now, we can subtract it. Now, we will play an interesting game. 12 minus 7. Let's see how we will play it. Yes, here is 12 stick. We have to subtract 7. 12 minus 7. Here is 12 stick. Let's minus 7. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We already minus 7. How many left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here is our result. 5. This is our result. Now our subtraction is done. 12 minus 7 equal to 5. We got it. But what will do this one? He will add with this 3 lower portion number. Okay? 3 plus 1 equal to, we all know, very easy, 4. So, if here is 4, 5 minus 4, how we will subtract it? Already we have 5 stick here. 
V minus four. One, two, three, four. How many left? Only one. This is our result. Here is one. Five minus four equal to one. Now in total, fifty-two minus thirty-seven result is fifteen. More you will practice, you will get it very easy. Now this is our new subtraction two digit with borrowing. Ninety minus forty-two. Same rule we will follow. At first. We will subtract our ones group number. Here is our right side number zero two zero minus two. Is it possible? No. So how we will do it? We will add a one before this zero, like this. Now it makes ten. Ten is a big number. We can subtract ten minus two. Now again, let's play with our stick. Here we will subtract ten minus two. So here is ten stick minus two. Let minus two one. Two. So how many left? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight is our result. Here is eight. Ten minus two equal to eight. Now what we will do with this one? He will add with. Below side number four, four plus one. Four is shathe one at kore dibo. Then it became five. Now we have to subtract nine minus five. Here is nine stick. We have to subtract nine minus five. So. Let's subtract five stick. Count with me: one, two, three, four, and five. How many left? One, two, three, four. This is our left side result. Nine minus five equal to four. So in total. Ninety minus forty-two equal to forty-eight. This is our result. For doing subtraction two digit with borrowing, you can use this kind of sticks or any object. Otherwise, you can draw in your copy straight line and doing this. Always, when you have a small number. In upper portion, you have to add a one before this number. Then you will subtract it. After that, you will add it again. You will subtract it. For subtraction two digit with borrowing, you can follow these rules. You have to practice more and more. Then it became very easy for you. It's the ending of our class. Goodbye and Allah face.